Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today they released a trailer for a Mad Max spinoff movie thing that's in the same Mad Max universe. I have no idea what's going on. It is a movie called Furosa and I didn't know that they were making a new Mad Max movie. I know nothing about the Mad Max franchise. It's on my watch list thing and starting in uh, 2024 I'm gonna start watching a new movie on my watch list once a week. So I'll probably watch the Mad Max movie soon. I've been looking forward to watching them. I'm a huge fan of Tom, Tom Hardy and I heard that he's good in it. So I'm very excited about these movies. No idea what to expect, but I saw that they released a trailer and Anya Taylor-Joy is in it. And I think Chris Hemsworth is in it. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I wanted to react to it. So let's dive right into that. From Mastermind, George Miller. Is that the guy who did the other ones? However long it takes. That is a cool bike. And those Promise graphics me, are also beautiful. Way this already looks great. Pure yourself. Give me this promise. Boom, boom, boom. Warner Brothers. 45 years after the collapse. I love the way they have these little titles going because it kind of reminds me of Star Wars, but it's not like Star Wars. This is her Odyssey. I don't know what Odyssey means. Should I know what Odyssey means? I'm going to the story of this story. Oh my god, they look so cool. God, the graphics of these look incredible. Anya Taylor Joy. She is so talented. She's great. And I was right. It is just a, Okay. I couldn't tell. Is that a sound book? Oh my god, the darkest. The world building angels. of this looks incredible. I honestly, like, since I don't know what's going on, I have no idea, but the world building is great. Every single set they've shown so far looks great. That looks really cool. The question is. Oh god, that CGI is so good. Do you have it in you to make it epic? Is Chris Hemsworth going to be a villain? I'm kind of excited. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, that trailer looks good. A couple things I want to say. For one, um, I have no idea if this is like takes place in outer space, if it's a dystopian. I will say all of the racing stuff that I've seen from Mad Max Fury Road 100% makes me feel like the, the pod races in Star Wars. And I don't know which came first because I do know that there was an older, uh, what's it called, Mad Max movie. I don't know, but man, this looks great. I'm not gonna lie. They show so many different scenes because they show like the desert landscape where they're doing the races. They show some kind of like futuristic like city that's very industrial, has a bunch of like factories and stuff going on in it. They show people running through the woods. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this movie. Like I said, I haven't seen any of the other Mad Max movies. Um, they're all on my watch list and um, I definitely will probably have to watch them before seeing this because I have no idea, but oh my God. These characters look great. Like, I will say this, the costume designing looks fantastic. All of these people look like they're genuinely in a different world. So I don't know if this is, like I said, I don't know if this is dystopian, if it's like an other world, if it's like a planet or something, but like the world building of it just looks insane. Like it feels kind of like a Star Wars level epic, you know? And I keep comparing it to Star Wars. I should also put a disclaimer. I haven't seen a lot of Star Wars stuff. So I don't even know if that's an accurate, like, comparison to be making either. Um, but, man, it does look really good. All the, like, skulls and costuming and, like, people in cages. I have no idea. It's just, oh, my God. It looks cinematically beautiful. And I'm very excited about it. I don't have a whole lot to say. I think that Anya Taylor-Joy is incredible. And I'll watch pretty much anything you put her in. Uh, I think Chris Hemsworth is a whole lot of fun. And if he's going to be playing a villain in this... That's pretty interesting because I think 
Chris uh, Hemsworth definitely has the acting ability to play a villain, especially one that would be very menacing. But I don't know. I, I honestly can't get a vibe from his character if he's going to be evil or if he's going to be somebody who's trying to help her. It kind of seems like he's going to be like a devil on her shoulder kind of character where um, she's not going to want to work with him, but she's reluctantly... What? She's reluctantly going to be working with him. I don't know. Obviously, like I said, I know nothing about the characters, so I could be completely wrong, but uh, it looks great. Her cybernetic like arm thing also looks insanely good. I'm loving this. Okay, but yeah, um, that was a very quick video. Just wanted to quickly get my reaction to that trailer out. Um, like I said, haven't seen Mad Max before, but I am incredibly excited for this movie. Yeah. Um, does it say when it comes out? Was it April 2024? Okay, no, it just says only in theaters 2024. How exciting. You came on to me to come, but first I did this. We planned the day, and then we did this. Wanna be in love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn, I'll rid this. I like this when I run the distance. I run a fine pit and go ballistics. I wanna live within the business. Buy more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big because I know you're a physicist. I wanna deny this shit, I'm unlimited.